Morning fam, it's Gene aka LS Turbo Integ and in today's video we are going to work on the BMW. BMW has been sitting for a minute. I do need to work on it today. First priority is swapping out those front hub bearings. I did get my new ones in. I did order these in from FCP Euro. Um, I'll post a link below to show you which ones I got but I do have the 535i so I don't know if all the 5 series use the same hub bearings. It might be different since the all-wheel drive might be different from the rear-wheel drive so uh, I got both bearings, got the bearing bolt and the replacement bolt rod and I got the replacement nuts here so this is a full kit here. I'll work on that today maybe give it a little bit of a wash, a little bit dirty here. Uh, not as bad actually if I wipe it down it'll be nice and clean but I want to give it a nice wash uh, just to make sure I don't get any scratches or anything like that so what I'm gonna do you guys is I'm gonna go ahead do all the work here in the middle section here gives me a little bit more room to work with so I'll pull out the Porsche leave it outside and then back in the BMW on this spot all right guys hold on a second
Guys, we are all done. We're gonna go out for a test drive, make sure everything. I don't hear any clinking noises or anything. Maybe I've forgotten, but I'm pretty sure I double checked everything. But it wasn't too bad of an install. Uh, mainly the lower control arm bolt was kind of a pain, but they come with a new nut to replace. So that's kind of nice with that. But as you can see, everything is back together again. So let's go for a test drive and hopefully that resolves the issue. If it doesn't, hmm, we'll see. I just went and retorqued my bolts just to be safe. Better be safe than sorry, right? Alright guys. It's been a couple weeks since I drove the car. And I'm glad. Just so busy with car shows and getting the Porsche ready. Now I have plenty of time, so I'm so glad I was able to get these wheel bearings swapped out. So far so good, it was pretty smooth actually. No play in the steering wheel, not that I had a lot of play in the steering wheel. Like most guys, when you guys start hearing things, that's not normal. Especially I, I've got exhaust and everything else on this car, you would think, well how the heck are you supposed to hear anything? Uh, you just know your car. But like most all you guys, you guys know your cars, you start hearing things, you're kind of like, what is that? So, that's what got me wondering if my bearings were starting to go. This is a 2011 and it is sitting on coils, so I know it's hard on the bearings. Um, from the forums, I really haven't heard anybody complain of any bearing issues or having to swap theirs out. Um, but that was a couple years ago when I was really active on the forums. But right now it feels really good. I don't hear that noise. It was a very slight noise. I know when I raise the wheel and start spinning it, you can hear it. Um, you guys know if you take the wheel, and I believe it's 10 o'clock and 2, and you can kind of wobble it if it's got any play that way, or if you just turn it, 
you shouldn't have any noise other than a slight rub from your brake pads that's uh, touching the rotors but your bearings would be a kind of a unique sound it's kind of hard to explain um, it's very similar to guys who were skaters before you can tell when your wheel bearings were going you can just hear it um, I know what it sounds like just because the uh, bearings on my Nissan truck goes out every three years just because it's got the big lift the big wheel so it's a lot more stress on those components so uh, but other than that it feels pretty good guys so that's one thing done on the car that I can check off the list so I do have a quite a few things in mind to do with this car you guys I plan on doing a wrap I'm actually going to try to attempt to do it myself. Uh, hopefully I don't bomb on it, but I watch, I've watch. i been watching plenty of videos for the past couple years just because it's kind of cool. Um, but I'm going to give it a shot. Tell me what color you guys think I should uh, wrap my car. I was thinking more of a wine, reddish, not red red, but a, kind of like a dark maroon, maybe a dark purple, purplish. I keep saying wine more of like between red and purple uh, I don't want to do blue just because Porsche's already blue um, you guys think that'll stay in the trend for the next few years at least I don't want to put it on and all of a sudden it's a dying trend and people are going a different direction I want to be able to leave the wrap on for a few years uh, it is garage so I'm not worried about the uh, outside elements ruining the wrap but I do want to wrap the car um, that's one of my biggest projects I want to do this year. I'll probably start next month, maybe the following month. Uh, but I'll do a multiple series of videos where I'll do the fenders, the doors, the front bumper, the rear bumper. So I just got to order all my supplies. Um, and we'll tackle that on. So please hit those post notifications so when I drop those videos, you guys, um, you guys will see those. Um, want to upgrade the intake system I see there's a couple intake systems now out for the F10 they never had any uh, really great air filter systems other than the k &N or the BMC I've got the drop-in k &N right now uh, there's a couple guys that reached out to me on their uh, air filters I might give those a shot but let's do a couple runs you guys I'm always in. Real, Porsche is real compact. The seats kind of hug me. Um, I forget how big this car is. I got to get used to the way it handles. guys that is a Meister Chef exhaust turbo smart diverter valve VRSF catalyst downpipe gives it that little raspy sound all right guys see ya